Hi, I'm the College Money Mom. Here's my word of the day, FAFSA. Okay, it's really six words. Free application for federal student aid. Filling out this form is the most effective way to get money for college. You find it at fafsa.ed.gov. Students and their parents need to fill this out each year. I was amazed to hear that a huge percentage of families don't fill out the FAFSA, more than 50% in some states. Why? Some people say it's just too difficult and they don't want to ask for help. Well, I'm here to tell you that there is a lot of help online. Here's the resource that I found to be the easiest to understand. First type nerdwallet.com into your address bar. Drop down to the education category and find the FAFSA guide and click. Choose the FAFSA tutorial and click. This gets you to a step-by-step -step guide, but before you click on it, look at this column to the left. These are the steps the guide takes you through. So if at some point you want to skip around, you can use these. Now let's click on Next to start the guide. Here's a checklist of info you will need to refer to while you fill out the FAFSA. Click Next, and they show you how the FAFSA homepage looks. If you want, you can bring up a real FAFSA form on a new page by typing fafsa.ed.gov into its address bar, like I've done here, and start filling it out side by side with this guide. Now there is a very important step that you might want to do right now in order to make the whole process easier. Take a look at this pin site tab right here. Both the student and parent need to make federal pin numbers in order to finish the FAFSA form. It's better and less confusing to get these before you start the FAFSA, even though you will have a chance again later. Next, fill in some basic info then choose the school year you want. Then create a password, which is not to be confused with the pin you got earlier. Now here is where the fun begins. All you have to do is look at the questions on this form and the ones on the real FAFSA, if you are doing it simultaneously. If anything confuses you, just click on the highlighting and up pops an explanation. Just continue to read through all the categories until you get to this page, which shows you by clicking this question here, how and when to link directly to the IRS if you have already filed your taxes. Using your PIN, your tax info can be filled in automatically if you want, or you can just continue through the financial info pages to fill in the answers manually. When you get to this page, the student and parent both sign using their pins, agree to terms, and then you are done. Okay, the FAFSA is not a snap, but you can do it, and it may be worth thousands of dollars to you. You won't get this help if you don't try. Hey, soon you'll be a regular FAFSA expert, because if you want to keep on getting financial aid, you'll need to fill out the FAFSA for each college year. Have a question? You can email me at thecollegemoneymom at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.